Hello viewers, I am going to tell you how to measure the drain percentage. If you see here, uh, in hydroponic cultivation, measuring a drain percentage very, is very necessary. And uh, you see here, we see we have kept uh, uh, these three bracks, uh, three uh, individual grow bags. And uh, we have placed one, uh, one plastic gutter sheet, so that here it is, uh, the water is collected. So whatsoever the drain water, uh, that drains out uh, from these three grow bags uh, is collected here. So normally what we do, uh, we start our first irrigation at 8 o'clock in the morning and then our irrig last irrigation is at 7 o'clock in the uh, evening. So before starting the first irrigation in the next day, we come and collect the water and measure the drain. So we also measure how much, let's say for instance, if we are giving 1.2 liter per day per plant, these three plants average of 3.6 uh, liters is given in one day and how much is collected. Uh, in this, we measure the drain percentage. Normally, we aim to keep the drain percentage minimum of 10% in a very cool day and we aim to keep the drain percentage around 25% in very sunny day when the temperature touches around 32, 34, 35, we aim, for, aim to reach around 20-25% 20, because the water requirement of the plant is very high during high temperature and high light intensity periods. So, this is very necessary. We also measure, let's say for instance, we, we are giving 2 point, we are feeding 2.4 millisiemen EC and we also measure what is the EC that is draining out. So normally feeding EC and the drain out EC, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we see it, should, it, it will be almost equal. Majority of the time the feed, drain out EC is 20% higher than the feeding EC. So if it is higher than the, uh, if it is 20% higher, uh, then we reduce the feeding EC. If it is uh, 20, below, uh, below 20%, 20 we increase the feeding EC. So the higher the drain out, we reduce the feeding EC. The lower the drain out EC, we increase the feeding EC. So that we know if the EC, drain out EC is lower, the, that means the plant is in need of nutrients. If the drain out EC is higher, that means the plant is not utilizing, it is throwing out. So we adjust the EC uh, uh, based on uh, how the plant is utilizing. And also if the drain percentage is crossing more than 25% and we also see, uh, see the climate, how the climate uh, forecast for the next year and we adjust the irrigation. Instead of giving 1200 ml, 150 ml per, per cycle, we reduce uh, it to 100 ml per cycle if the drain out EC is higher than 20%. So that's how we measure, you see, that's how the EC, uh, this drain out measure is very necessary uh, to come to uh, ascertain how much quantity of water is required for plant and how much of EC the plant is actually utilizing. EC is nothing but a, a concentrate set of salts, the strength of the fertilizer. EC does not tell us what is the composition of nutrients. So in, in this uh, fertilizer, we will be having all 12 elements, nitrogen, phosphorus, potash, calcium, magnesium, zinc, boron, iron, copper, manganese and molybdenum. All 12 elements are there in this water. So based on that, this sometimes some people also use this drain out EC and recirculate it, recirculate it, filter it and sanitize it and recirculate it. In this scenario, we are not recirculating, it is a free drainage. So the drain goes out till that end and it's collected and the, that collected water is used for the ornamental crops and other plantation crops. So that we do not get, uh, the fertilizer doesn't get wasted much. Thank you.